C Scuba Continuous Self-Contained Underwater Breathing Apparatus, Patent Pending. Developed by William H. Bradshaw, Dipple T, CPIM. Author of Secrets of the Pink Cush. Date published January 2nd, 2017. Some of this information is derived from my book, Secrets of the Pink Cush, in my attempt to explain some of the technology employed by the Tetraploid humans. This knowledge revealed here is not in the book exactly as detailed here, as this is more speculative, but the idea is derived from the book with regards to how the Tetraploid humans managed to remain underwater for extended periods of time. Please note that I am not an occultist or religious, but a scientist, and my objective is to remain unbiased and only present the facts I discovered during my lengthy research project. Some of what it contained here is speculation in an attempt to explain some of these ancient mysteries. The concept. The objective of the system is to provide an uninterruptible and continuous source of oxygen, such that the underwater driver can remain underwater for a time period that is not limited to tank capacity. Hoffman Apparatus. The basic concept uses the Hoffman apparatus to split water molecules into their two separate atoms and then collect the two into two different storage tanks. You employ a Hoffman voltmeter or Hoffman apparatus with different spellings to split the hydrogen and oxygen from water. This is achieved through the use of electricity generated by the hydrogen collected via the Hoffman voltmeter as well as the oxygen. The Hoffman apparatus will create hydrogen and oxygen at each of the respective electrodes. The anode creates oxygen and the cathode creates hydrogen. The oxygen is then captured into one holding tank for breathing while the hydrogen is then run into a separate holding tank. The hydrogen is then used as a fuel source for electricity in order to continue to run the Hoffman apparatus and produce oxygen. Tanks. The hydrogen holding tank is then used to dispense smaller amounts into portable tanks that can be used to feed for any hydrogen based system of electricity or mechanical energy. The hydrogen is kept in a small on demand compressed tank to reduce safety risks. The oxygen is collected and then fed into another storage tank, which is then used to provide oxygen to the human who wishes to breathe underwater. Recirculation. The oxygen should be mixed with air exhaled from the diver. This would ensure that the diver is not breathing pure oxygen and could avoid producing air bubbles, such that the system would be stealthy in addition to its continual supply of air. No air bubbles would be visible as everything is recirculated within the, with the exception of occasional venting to evacuate the buildup of toxic CO2 and other gas levels. The objective of the circulator pump is to keep the oxygen levels at or near 21%, the normal levels found in our atmosphere. Breathing pure oxygen can be lethal, so this component is essential. Protection. This system could also be weaponized by using the hydrogen as an energy source. This would help prevent the diver from predator attacks while underwater. Is this sea scuba system the type of system that the Tetchplit humans employ in order to remain underwater for indefinite periods of time? Secrets of the Pink Kush. Read Secrets of the Pink Kush for more knowledge of the occult and many other topics that are related by a certain lily plant that can potentially cure cancer or kill animals, humans, or create polyploids such as the Tetchploid humans or create superior plants like the Pink Kush, which is also a Tetchploid but a cannabis plant. The book also describes how to breed and grow superior plants and cannabis in particular. There is knowledge in this book that is not found anywhere else in the world except amongst the Tetchplot humans, and they are keeping it a secret. Thank you for your interest in this topic. Credits secrets to the pink William Bradshaw.